Today I'll be teaching you how to use a smartphone and turn it into a microphone. Welcome to Budget Zero. How is everyone doing? As promised from my previous videos, I'll be teaching you how to turn your smartphone into a microphone. Some of the reasons you might want to turn your smartphone into a microphone is that you do not have a proper microphone or maybe your internal microphone in your laptop or computer is not so good or more specifically that some webcam apps such as Droidcam, Ivycam, Iron Webcam do not have the microphone function or it doesn't work for you you might also want to try this if you have a smartphone that has a better quality microphone you can always use it first of all this video is going to be in two parts so follow the timestamps for the relevant content this tutorial is for iphone users android users windows users and unfortunately it is not for mac os make sure to watch my other videos on how to turn your smartphone into a webcam because it is all related if you want to do like zoom conferencing or skype please follow that video so first of all i'd like to introduce an app called WOMI, which is a really general slash versatile app to use to turn your smartphone into a microphone. I really like this app because this app can overlap with other programs like Droidcam or Zoom, Ivycam. And if those programs microphone sometimes do not work, you can definitely use this app as a microphone. So quickly go into the Play Store or App Store to download WO Mic. It looks like this logo. And download it and then... Uh, there are three things that you need to download. First is the WO Mic app that you already downloaded. Next, you need to download the Mic client. And then you need to download the virtual device drivers. So as usual, the link is in description. Go to wallycheng.com and then come down here to download the client as well as the drivers. Unfortunately, it's only for Windows for the client and the drivers. After that, go back to your WO Me app in your phone and then go to the client, which is already downloaded here. So you will see an interface like this. So go to the connection, click on connect. And then there are several methods you can use to connect. There's USB and Bluetooth as well as Wi-Fi. If you want the USB one instead of the Wi-Fi for a more stable connection, make sure to go check out my other video, which is via USB one, because the method is really similar for enabling USB debugging in developer options. So make sure to check that out. Link in description. So make sure the IP address is the same as your phone IP address. So go back to your phone and then go back to your settings. Click on transport. So click on transport right here. Change it to Wi-Fi, make sure. And then go back to the interface. Click on the play button here. Make sure the IP address is the same as your laptop's one. So after clicking play, go come back here, change your IP address, something like that, and then click on connect. So after it's connect, you will see connected right here. That means it is already connected. To prove that it is connected already, go to the volume button, right click on it, go sounds. You'll see an interface like this. Go to the recording. And then you will see all your microphones and devices that is connected. So this is my original um, microphone, internal microphone. And this is the WO mic device. So as you can see, it's flashing. That means it is recording some sound inside the virtual device. As you can see, I'm talking right now into the virtual device. So it's connecting. If you want to further test the virtual mic, Go to right click on the mic and then go to properties. You can go to different settings 
and you can test it through listen to this device. So right now, I am testing the microphone. This is how you can test it. So right now, your smartphone is a microphone. And then you can record your voice or YouTube videos using your phone as a microphone. But right now, I'll be going back into Zoom and teach you how to change the source. So right now, as you can see, I am using my internal webcam right here. And then you can click on test speaker and microphone to test out your microphone, whether it works. So this is my internal microphone. And then we want to change to the WO mic. So as you can see, WO mic device. Click on WO mic. And right now, as you can hear, it is already connected. You can hear it is already connected. So to easily change your source, just click on the arrow button here and then go to WMO mic device. Right now, we want to change the video interface. As you can see, it's very blurry. Right now, you can actually overlap the app. So right now, I'm going to do IV cam. Go to IV cam. In my phone, just click on your home button and go back to your home and go to your IV cam app. It overlaps, so no worries. And you can see it is connected through Wi-Fi right now. And right here, click on the source, go to the IV cam. And as you can see, it is connected through the webcam video as well as the microphone through the WOMIC app. Next up, I'd like to show you how to turn your smartphone into a microphone through DroidCam. So if you guys didn't watch my previous videos on DroidCams, I didn't explain about the audio and how to connect it. It can be used through Wi-Fi, USB, and other methods. So make sure to go and watch the other video if you want to turn it into a webcam, and then come back here to watch the audio one. So I've already disconnected everything and we are going to go to the next method, which is using DroidCam. Unfortunately, this is only for Android and Windows devices. So as you can see, this is the video and the audio. This is easier because it already downloaded both the um, virtual camera drivers as well as the audio drivers. Make sure to click on the audio, to take the audio on, as well as when you go in the DroidCam app, it will look something like this. Before starting, make sure to go to the settings, enable the audio right here. After enabling, click start. So after clicking start, go back to your zoom and then go to your sources, your video sources and change it to droid cam source. Either, either one is fine. So, and then to change to your droid cam virtual mic go to your click on microphone droid cam virtual audio as you can see it is already connected and again to prove that it is connected through the mic mic the droid cam virtual audio go back to your sounds go to recordings and as you can see just now, WO mic device is off, disconnected, so it won't it won't flash. And right now the microphone droid cam virtual audio is flashing right now, as you can see. When you talk to it, it is flashing like crazy. That means it works. If you get stuck in any of the process, just restart your laptop or reinstall some of your um, Zoom or Skype to download the latest version of it. And I'm sure it will work fine because most of the problems is due to the drivers 
not um, adapting to your laptop, something like that. I know this video is a bit long and messy because there's a lot of switching and testing and proving to whether it works. So if you find this anyhow valuable, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if, if so, can also please subscribe to me if you would like more of these videos. If you have further questions or problems, make sure to comment down below or DM me on Instagram to, so that I can see some of your problems and screenshots. And make sure to stay safe. And thank you very much for watching and see you guys again.